Welcome back graduates. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the newsletter pop-up. Now I'm in incognito mode right now to view my pop-up because this is uh, through uh, session storage. So what this means is once it recognizes your computer, it's not going to display, but for other users who have not been on your website, it will display. So I want to show you what it looks like right now as it is in incognito mode. So to do this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into the back end of your Shopify store onto the dashboard and in your Ecomify theme, you're going to click customize. And you'll have this already by default, but it's going to be located at the very bottom and it's going to be as a section on the newsletter pop up it. There's a note that says, since the modal will only show up once, you can show trigger to show it by URL direct parameter. Example, your My Shopify store question mark newsletter pop-up equals true. So what they're saying is instead of incognito mode, you can also use this link with your Shopify store. And this is for good testing purposes so you can view it. Scrolling down, you have in the general settings, you have the delay, uh, which is the time to wait before showing the modal in seconds. So if a user's on your store, you can have it wait five seconds, 12 seconds, two seconds, just like that. Uh, delays to wait before showing the pop-up again, you can do it after nine seconds, play around with it, five seconds, your modal title is right over here, and this also does work on uh, mobile as well. So on the modal, which is also known as a pop-up, um, this is the heading and then also the title right here where you can play around with the text and the text size based on your brand. And then also you can um, add in your description and what this looks like is bolded and unbolded. So that's how you kind of can emphasize certain things, uh, certain calls for your description. And then you have your description size, which can be very small, uh, FS1, really big. Um, form element size, normal, or you can have it a bit larger. Well, that is a box like this, but you can have it normal like this, but large is a very large box like this. Uh, button colors, these are set in your theme settings right over here under styling for your, for assigning color option, color, your colors here. Scrolling down, then you have your notice. Your notice is um, by signing up right over here, kind of agree to your terms and policies. You do not uh, need to have this. Uh, we have this as a example right now, if you would like. Scrolling at the very, um, towards the bottom, you have now an image. Uh, make sure it is either PNG or JPEG and, uh, and optimize for, for sizing. Image orientation, landscape is horizontal. Square is going to be a um, even square around. And then a portrait is going to be a nice tall image. So you can play around with that depending on what your image is for the pop-up. Then you also have image crop, which can set the image a little left, bottom, top, or right and play around with that a little bit. Uh, and then the image thumbnail, notice that there is a little slight border around it. You have the option for no border or for a border itself. And then this is the option you can have on left or right for the pop-up. And then also spacing top and bottom. Uh, padding is the uh, space within the element and margin is a space outside of the element itself. So notice how it got a little taller and it inherits the, the theme really nice. Now scrolling at the very bottom, this is here. If you wanna hide it, you can just hide it and it won't um, be displayed for customers to see. And that is the pop-up modal. Thank you.
Oh, and lastly, in addition to this pop-up modal, if you do have under your app embeds Clavio, this does connect seamlessly uh, to your Clavio. And there's a documentation on our own doc uh, documentation explaining that it does work really well and it just embeds seamlessly. So all you would have to do is go into your app embeds, click into your Clavio and toggle that on or off. Thank you.